Welcome back to Close Combat 2 with Rubber Ducky. We're beginning the 57th episode of the Axis campaign today, but a lot has been going on in the last few battles, so check them out in the Axis campaign playlist. Take a moment and click the subscribe button to help grow my channel. I appreciate your support, and every subscriber helps. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below with any tips or advice. We're back in Shindle Sand Dunes after a four-hour ceasefire in the last go. We struggled to hold the Allies back, but they opted to give in long before they should have. We have our backs against the wall here, and if we give up the map, we also give up the operation. However, with 30 Corps already bogged down north of here in Nijmegen, I'm not so sure that this is a vital area that we continue to hold. A viewer pointed out to me that we may have no added benefit of holding this map, and after looking at the outcomes listed during the last fight, I couldn't find anywhere where there was a tangible benefit, so we don't want to continue to throw our men into the meat grinder for nothing. We'll keep that in mind as we start the fight. So we've only got four points here, and we have two MG42s, three reserves, and a sniper. There's no way we could get to a tank, no matter what we do, and... There's not a lot of great units, so I think we're just going to start and we're just going to see what happens with the units that we've got at hand. So the last time here, I held just the back of the sand dunes and I want to do that again. And I had the machine guns up here on this top back one. And I liked that position. I kind of want to hold it, but we did lose some terrain. So now we've got this weird little patch where they can spawn. So we got to kind of cover that as well, I guess. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to shake out, but I do like the two MGs back here to cover the main avenue of approach. And then Sniper maybe in the three-story. And where are our other reserves? Let's see. Let's actually move him back here. I don't know, somewhere. I don't know if they're going to spawn right in that building or not, so I hate to put him in there and have him die instantly. They can see that area, so that's a good spot for them. And there's our other one. Now we got to figure out where to put this guy. Um, I kind of am inclined to just leave him back here as well, just so there's more units ready to stop them from coming down and killing our machine guns. Okay, no sign of him yet. Oh, we got him down below to the south, so we're going to start moving these guys up. I think we're just going to run these guys into the three-story. And what do we got? We got troops moving from the three-story to the single-story. Let's get these guys in the two-story. Let's get over here and take this building, and let's actually move everybody up. Let's move the sniper up here, and let's move the reserve into the two-story as well. I think three reserve squads there will be a decent, formidable force. All right, these guys are in the open. We're going to gun them down. BAR squad. Open up with that MG. They've got 750 rounds. That's what we need to have happen. Looks like we lost two reserves already. Get on defend. You on defend. Can't see anybody there yet. One guy there. Okay, we wiped that whole BAR squad. Perfect. That's what we want. Oh, these guys too. Rifle squad. Got one. We already used 250 rounds. These guys are not in a position to be able to shoot or something. Oh my gosh. The bazooka just picked off one of the reserves with a sniper shot from the bazooka launcher. Alright. They will not give us a ceasefire yet. Kill the bazooka. Come on. Throw some grenades or something, guys. Shoot. Okay, we got him. Alright, we're pulling this reserve team back. We're going to try and move them over here to support the MG42 squad a little better. Oh, I didn't see this rifle squad though. Hang on. Sniper, get him. Reserve, get him. Somebody get him. Okay, he's dead. Whoa. I'm not sure what I missed, but all the two teams that were in that two-story building are dead. Alright, move down here. Not that far. There we go. Oh man, there are so many of them. They are just coming out of the buildings like crazy. Alright. Try and get you guys off the map. They're all combat ineffective. We're talking like hurt men, out of ammo, things like that. Just get them off the battlefield. We'll try and gun down everybody with the machine guns when we can. Everybody's moved up north. There's nobody else down south. Move the sniper. Go, sniper, go. 
Oh yeah, the allies are shooting our reserves in the back as they're running away. Crawl, sniper, crawl. Reserve was annihilated. Reserve surrendered. I'm not sure where. Uh, who? I, I don't know who just died. Oh, the sniper's dead. It didn't show up on the notifications, but he, he died too. Okay, well, our plan to preserve our forces kind of fell apart. So we're going to open up with these MGs, see if we can get some kills. No. I don't know. The only people they can target are in the building, and they have no combat effectiveness on that. So I don't know that it's worth anything. Let's try and get them off the battlefield as well. We're just going to give up this fight. Let's try and preserve the two MG42s. They don't want to leave. Leave. I don't know if it's because they're already so close. Hold on. Surrender. No soldiers lost. There we go. Okay, so we were routed from the map. Allies gained control. The operation is over. Expected progress was zero. We got zero. We have 11 KIA. We lost 12 ourselves, and we lost a prisoner. It was not a fair trade, but once they started coming, they were all over us. It was way too fast. We lost men that we probably should have not moved forward, and that was my fault. But let's see in the details if we have anything to pull from that's kind of optimistic. So first MG42 squad, eight kills, and then nothing in the second. We got two kills in the reserve. And one more kill in the reserve, and that's it. That's all of our 11 kills. So no medals or anything like that. I don't want to end on a bad note, though, so we are going to continue and do one more mission at least. Let's see if we can get something a little bit more promising. We're still with 15th Army here in Vejol North. Brunner led one hell of a fight here, but they weren't able to really secure any new terrain. Our goal is really just to simply keep the ally supply lines cut off. And all that we need to do that is hold any part of the map. We also lose this operation if we surrender the map, but we don't have to worry about that until day seven. So we got a little bit of time to sort it out. So we only have four points here. We did take two Panzer Shreks last time, but we didn't come across any allied armor. And I'm not sure if that's because 30 Corps has already left and moved on. So unfortunately, we did spend the resources on them and they're only worth a dollar each. So that's not something we can really get back. We can't get to a tank. And I don't even know if it's worth trying to get rid of the reserve with one guy missing. I think we're going to take this fight as it is and just hope to at least stay in our position and keep them from advancing. Okay, so we did get a little tiny bit of growth where we have these buildings at the front. Uh, there's a lot of damage in them, but last time we didn't have them. So that was kind of our, our win, if you will. I do like that position better. And Panzer Shrek here. So hopefully that leaves us in a little bit better of a start when we don't have to crawl into these positions. Let's go there. Panzer Shrek also here. I still don't think we're going to face armor. I think we're just going to have to use the Panzer Shreks in an anti infantry role. And reserve. Um, what if. What if we put the machine gun actually in this two story up front? And then uh, they're kind of not going to fit. What if we move these guys up to the front and just have the reserve and the Panzer Shrek back here? MG42. Let's put them in, I don't know, this bottom three-story building. Because this is where we have the sniper and he could see. So that's probably not a bad spot for these guys. They only have 250 rounds in that machine gun. And it looks like we got everybody set. Everybody is doing what they're supposed to do. We did not get the sniper. And I think I'm going to actually put him in the back. He didn't do anything last fight. I don't think he's really going to do anything this fight. But you never know if they're going to come from the top. So we do want somebody there to kind of watch that. All right. Oh, my gosh. 50 cal in our building. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. We lost the machine gun team. Shoot. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. I seriously, like, we lost the entire machine gun team. I shouldn't have put them in there. I got greedy. I really didn't think they'd spawn in the building with me. Somebody kill that guy. Somebody kill the 50 cal. 
Okay. So we're off to a rough start. Uh, I think they're dead. I think that just didn't go away. Who's still shooting them? Charge! Who is it? Get me out! Okay, we got bazookas in town hall. And they're moving up, but they're not near us in the south yet. Reserve? Yes, it was them. Okay, go back over there and take that building now. Okay, um... We can't waste our ammo shooting at Town Hall. No, no. The blood! Let's see. They're still in the church. They haven't left there yet. And... We can't really move up. The reserve team doesn't want to move. It says they're pinned. Is there somebody in the brown building right below us? I mean, it looks like there's shots coming from there, but I don't see a team there. They're on the map. I don't know. Oh, now they're pushing on the south end. Get these guys on defend. No, don't shoot at the guys in the church. Oh, shoot at them. Nope. Okay, they can't hit the bazooka. They're just so heavily congested right in front of us. There's nowhere for us to really go. What if we... There's one bazooka in there. What if we move this reserve up to take out the bazooka? They can't cover. They can't hit there. But there's only one guy left here. Because we killed one of them in the street. Shoot that team. Oh, we can't hit him. Okay. Oh, we lost a reserve and now they're retreating. Rifle team. Hit the rifle. Nope. Oh, yeah. We got him with the other team. Alright. Um, I was hoping to get some more kills and not so many losses. It's not going great. I don't know what a success looks like here, but I hate to give a ceasefire without taking a little bit of ground. Like, we need a little bit better spots to start next time because our buildings are getting destroyed. So if we can hold some of these positions at the front, that'd be ideal. And hopefully we'll get, you know, even just one or two more buildings. But when our reserves keep getting blown up, that's not going to help. All right, he's running. Um, we're about to have to take the ceasefire either way, though. Because we are losing a lot of units. And I don't want to lose the MGs. We already lost one of them. Can we take that two-story? Who died? The one reserve. Okay. Um, no. Kill that guy. Rifle. Yep, okay. We got him. We are down to 100 rounds in that MG42. Oh, VAR. See, we just lost the Panzerschreck. I really wanted that building. I don't know that I wanted it bad enough to lose our troops, but yikes. Uh-oh, they're pushing up on the south, too. Get ready. Brunner's squad has 90 rounds in the MP40 and 200 rounds in the MG42. They can hold off for a second. Shoot that guy. There's something about this building. We can't, like, get them. All right. Okay, good. Brunner got a kill right there. Get me out! All right, it's time for the ceasefire. Well, that was okay, but it's also back-to-back -back disappointing battles. We have 13 out of 30 progress in this one. I'm okay with that only because we just need to stop the Allies' supply lines. We know we're going to be back here again, and I fear they're winning the Battle of Attrition. They have 20 losses to our 12, but we didn't really have 12 to lose from the start. 
On top of that, we lost one of our MG42s right at the beginning, and it was brutal. I need to do better. Brunner expects it from me, and damn it, I can't let him down after all he's been through. So, seven hours ceasefire, and the details. All right, I kind of think we start a poll on if Brunner's squad survives to get to 100 kills before the end of the campaign, or they die. On top of that, our second MG42, that's the one that died. They unfortunately never contributed. And our third one, 10 kills, double digits. That's awesome. Reserve got one kill, but that team was wiped out. And let's see, our other reserve, nothing happened. Sniper still hasn't done anything. Panzer Shrek did get a kill. And the Panzer Shrek that was killed got a kill. So that's going to wrap this one up. It's 0400 right now at Rubber Ducky's house, but my power has been out for the last several hours, so I had to play and edit late. I appreciate you all stopping by, and we're going to hope for a brighter future with the next one. Do me a solid and click the subscribe button, leave a like, and comment down below. Will Bruner break 100 kills before the end of the campaign or his death? Let me know. See you soon.